back with the Asus Store Flash Store 12 Pro which we have seen on the last video and if you missed that I will leave a link right over here on the YouTube cards because we did install 12 NVMe SSDs from Sabrent. We also upgraded the RAM from 4 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes. We did see how easy it is to plug it in and initialize. We saw all the specifications and connectivity that we have. Today we are going to check out all this and there will be some timestamps so that you can move forward to the topic that matters most. And that being said, let's start with speed tests. The Flash Store 12 Pro has a 10 gigabit connection and in RAID 5 I did some disk speed tests and I was able to get 500 megabytes per second on writes and 1000 megabytes per second on reads. Now the reads are totally fine but the writes I was not able to get the maximum so I also tried on a Windows machine and I was able to get 700 megabytes per second 800 megabytes per second so a higher average in writes which will make me think that the limitation is not the NAS itself it's on my connection so expect to be able to reach out the maximum which is 1000 megabytes per second reads and on writes and this just means that if I want to edit a 4k video on the go or here connected via Ethernet I will be able to do so because 1000 megabytes per second it's more than enough. CPU utilization while I was doing these crazy tests was about 20% and then sometimes we had a peak on the 50% and the RAM utilization was only 10% of the 16 gigabytes available on this unit right over here. Temperature was something that I was really curious and what we can achieve at idle is about 35 to 40 degrees Celsius on every single disk, having in mind that the environment temperature is about 28 to 30 degrees. Yes, it's warm. The summer is coming. And besides that, I also tested out while we were writing and reading on a benchmark that we already have seen. And the maximum that I did observe was on some disks, not all, a 60 degrees Celsius maximum value. And one of the things that we can notice is that the first six NVMEs that are closer to the fan will be the ones with lower temperature and then the ones that are further away which is 7 12 to 12 which are the ones on this part of the case right over here the airflow will come this way so they will have a little bit less airflow and they tend to be a little bit on the higher temperature than the first six so this was really curious to see how the airflow works but in conclusion in this chapter is that 60 degrees celsius as a maximum temperature on a benchmark which is something that we will not do on a daily basis being writing and reading constantly 1000 megabytes per second 800 megabytes per second then i was totally happy to see and one more important fact is that as soon as I did finish those tests the temperature came down really really quickly. This is thanks to the Asus Store cooling solution and also to the efficiency of the Sabrent SSDs that are inside. Power consumption at idle without apps running on the background which doesn't make much sense but just for curiosity we were getting roughly 13 to 17 watts now putting apps running at idle and i had Plex, Jellyfin, Pihole, Adquart. I also had Docker with Port Trainer and about five or six services running on the background, which is a more realistic scenario. Then we were getting a power usage of 30 to 32 watts average. I also tested while I was reading and writing at maximum speeds and the power that we were consuming was roughly 34 to 41 watts. And to max out the machine I had to trick it. Now on Jellyfin what I did do was to remove the hardware acceleration encoders so that we could max out the CPU to 99% of usage just out of curiosity in case we are going to push this system to the maximum and the results that we got were about 38 to 40 watts maximum so the flash store 12 pro is really efficient and no worries at all in leaving it 24 7 turn on with all the services having in mind that the average that we were spending was about 
30 watts. And all this efficiency is not only thanks to the Asus Store, which did a great job in assembling the unit, but also to the SSDs, because we will find SSDs that are more power efficient, like this one's right over here from Sabrent. We have tested them in the past, so, but there are SSDs that we also have tested in the past that are more power hungry. So depending on the configuration, you will have different values. Regarding performance and CPU utilization, this is not a CPU for us. We have seen it on other machines that we have tested here on the channel. It has the Intel Celeron Quad Core at 2.0 GHz, 5105. Now, one of the big advantages that we have seen in the past in this CPU is that it's able to transcode 4K H.265 and H.264. So it's not new to us that we can put in high demanding movies right over here using Plex, MB, Jellyfin, and it will be able to transcode without having effort whatsoever. If we compare this to an older CPU that will struggle to pass that content, this is a great option and making the Asus Store Flash Store 12 Pro at an affordable price. Now I did try to squeeze it in and as I did show before, the maximum that I was able to get was the CPU working at 70%. I did have several apps installed like Pi-hole, AdGuard, Home and a few more like Docker, Port Trainer with a few apps running on on the background. Besides that, five players with Plex and one phone transcoding a video format. So what we got was a utilization of 70% and I would say that this is more than enough for those home users that will want to use this as a media server and besides that to run all those services to have more security on the network like Hardguard, by hole and then docker with port trainer which we will talk in just a few moments but as you could see we were able to get 70 percent using a transcode outside our network and that is actually what will tax out any machine not only this one so if you're looking for a machine that you want to stream 5 10 20 machines depending on your bandwidth of your network you will be able to do so on your local network without any issues whatsoever with this device if you are looking for something to stream out Outside your network for several mobile devices, I would say that the Flash Store 12 Pro will be able to handle two. More than that, you will need to go for a really higher spec machine and actually more expensive, a lot more expensive than this setup right over here. The App Store on the Acer Store is one of the things that I did enjoy since the first machine that I did test out a few years ago and it's still actually really fun because it's just so easy to install any app and it has a lot of apps and when we see some updates there will be more apps and they keep on adding apps so the library keeps being updated and keeps being added with apps which is just awesome for those that want a simple device that just click on a button and you will have your app running. You have Plex, we have MB, we have Pyho, we have Hardguard Home and a lot more that I will not cover. But as I was saying previously, if we install, for example, Docker and Port Trainer to make the management of Docker, then we will open a completely different world of possibilities and at our fingerprints, we will have endless apps to install best part is that it's just one click. So in my opinion, for someone that wants a media center, a mini home lab server and don't want to waste too much time searching how to install this and how to install that, just wants a experience that is one click and then install it and then enjoy it. <laughs> this is a great option. Now, HDMI output is something that you might be curious as I am, although we have tested in the past some Asus Store machines with HDMI. It will give us a friendly interface that we can check out and the possibility, which in my opinion is the best, to manage this machine from the HDMI. It will give us the dashboard so we can do whatever we do on any other laptop or desktop on our network. Now, besides that, it also has the ability to give us some shortcuts to our favorite apps that we install. For example, YouTube, Spotify, Prime Video, Firefox, Netflix. Now, just one thing to have in mind is that there is no app. When you look at those logos, they are 
shortcuts that will take us to Firefox on the page of that service. And then we can do the login and next time we will not need to do that login. So we just need to press the shortcut, get in the app, watch a movie or listen to some music on Spotify. But that's to say that the interface is not a separate operating system with dedicated apps. It's a nice interface with some shortcuts that we can use to reach those apps. So in my opinion, although it's not my favorite way of having a multimedia device, I do believe that Asus Store did a great job on giving us the option to use it or not. So if I want to have this on my office and don't use the HDMI, I'm fine. But if I want to use it on a living room or in a bedroom, I can totally do so. And I just need to plug it in to a HDMI source, to my TV, to my display, and I can manage and I can watch movies and I can use it as you just saw with that. Besides that, it also as a optical out so for those of you that enjoy how do you will be able to run high resolution player for example or even run so in conclusion the asus store flash store 12 pro is a unit that is out of the box ready to be used it's great for those that want a mini home lab server and want to have a one click experience just install and use it without wasting time besides that as enough performance in my opinion for most users at home it's really silent, very power efficient, so I can put it 24-7 working and don't worry at all in terms of the electric bill. The price is attractive and also they have a version of 6 space which is even cheaper. So in your case, you will have to check out if you really need the 12 and the 10 gigabit or if you prefer to go to the 6 unit bay and two 2.5 gigabit connection. And although we have a killer setup right over here, we did 12. of Sabrent SSDs, you can start with one SSD and start running your Nash. And when you have the chance, you get the second one and the third one. And with time and your budget and your necessities, you can grow with the machine because right over here, the ecosystem will grow with us as we have seen with other machines from Acer Store in the past. And hopefully this video will help you to decide if this is the machine for you, or if you prefer the six unit bay. And if it did, don't forget that you should thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.